AU. So on this a good, bad, ugly new collector coin is going to be going over a, a batch of new collector coins. Pickings ain't so slim currently, so we can get a video out. But just giving my thoughts and opinions on a few coins that I've come across that may, may have been mentioned to me, and that's my opinion on them. And just let you know my thoughts and opinions, whether I'll be picking them up or what I think about them in general. I'll be steering clear on why. All my own personal thoughts and opinions here, guys. So before we get into this, I'd say if you like what you hear and you haven't done so already, please do go ahead and subscribe. And also let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments, whether you've come across any collector coins that you extremely like or have potential or you just absolutely dislike let us all know in the comment section down below what your thoughts and opinions are so getting straight into this we're going to be looking at a new offering as we make a lot of noise in the background there and this is going to be world's wildlife coin so i believe this is the first in the series so this is something new from i'm gonna take a punt and say it's the guys that do the somali elephant coins and i say that and i'll, I'll show you why i believe that's the case but outside of that i don't have no definite mint to point at as to who mints and produces these coins so that is a little worrying for me you know i know a lot of the private mints in germany like to take that new approach after it worked so well for the rwandan boys but it's not a must know it's just that we've had the rwandan gate with the plastic you know vaxil packs and it's always good to know whether this mint's infamous for bad quality and the like so with private mints there always seem to be some type of an issue that pops up along you know it's never 100 but it never is the case but nevertheless here we have the first image now i think the images are very good but a bad thing i do think is going to be the mintages but i'll touch on them as we move along so as we can see here we've got the giraffe world's wildlife so i think this is going to be done just doing wildlife coins as mentioned the rwandan boys do the african wildlife coins and they did do a giraffe i'm not mistaken i think two issues back or an issue back now time of release but this here is the silver one that they have for offer and it's on a 30k mintage another bad thing in my opinion i think with where we are now um even with mints like Perth Mint, they're easily the leaders in the collector coins, drop in coin series that have 15k, hot, very hot, blazing hot. We know what the quality is like, and 25k from the Swans and the likes of. Um, being a private mint, pushing something out, silver release out on 30k is way too high, in my own personal opinion here. But you know, who knows? It may just be one of those things that take off. I don't think so, but we'll see how it goes. But here's the silver here offering on 30k and this is the image the same image that they also have on the one ounce and this is going to be a 1k mintage once again way too high a lot of the mints now are private and big mints are locking in from anywhere from 100 if that's too low and they believe it's going to be a blazing hot series i think it's royal australian mint are doing 250 so 1000 is damn near pointless especially on a new coin new mint technically i uh, i don't think they um you know it is what it is only they know what they was thinking but got a bit of noise going on in the background you can work through that but another bad thing i was mentioning is that they already have quite a bit out in the range which is somewhat semi-confusing so on the silver of 30k and the gold on the same image one ounce on 1k they then have an offering of a four coin set totaling 1.85 ounces and I don't know because they also have and this is where I was getting at, a half gram on the image right there on the bottom right and that has a mintage of 5,000 then on the same image top left they have a five ounce gold with a mintage of 50 so a little confusing they're throwing a lot out there I'm not sure if it's only for the German market that you get some of these collections here but the set with all four coins here come in a mintage of 300 and that's how the set comes this is why I thought it was very reminiscent of the Somali elephant range because their gold and even when they take their images come out exactly like that damn near identical this is why I believe my own personal thoughts that it's the same guys that make the wildlife or the somali elephant coins but you know it may not be a big issue but they had somewhat of a massive issue with um quality control spots on their silver and their golds came kind of rough around the edges also so maybe something to look out for but outside of that i'd say the images are very good i even like this gold set i just not too sure on the price either the half gram as i mentioned on one of my recent gold videos it's a very small size you know there's not a lot of coins in that range especially collector coins so if you're going to be paying a premium 
it would be great if the coin would go on to appreciate. I, what I think they've done here is a money grab. They've produced that size. You're going to be paying a premium for it. And I don't think it will be able to sell for a premium. Not to forget, this needs to be sold onto another collector or sucker that's willing to pay more than yourself. And when it has, you know, um, a minstrel 5K, that's just not going to happen on personal thoughts and opinions here. But this is the Welds Wildlife um, coin here. This is their first issue. It's going to be the giraffe. So on the four coin, they have four images of the giraffe there. I mean, it's very, very good design in my opinion. But let me know your thoughts and opinions there, guys. So getting on to the next coin we have the celestial green dragon now this is from the new zealand mint i believe yes i'm not mistaken uh, yeah the new zealand mint so the new zealand mints usually pump out from what i've seen a lot of licensed stuff so i have the star trek sculptures the mickey mouse sculptures a lot of licensed stuff they've pumped out i haven't seen a coin series off of them that's been a blazing hot one like the royal australian mint have recently been pumping out a lot they had the triangle coins the bottleneck dolphin and a few more and they was following you know in, in the steps of perth but the new zealand mint to the best of my knowledge i haven't seen a coin series from them for some time that's been worthy but this is here i'll easily put them in a trio of you know the new zealand mint the royal australian mint and the perth mint in that order specifically i do know that they come with quality products so it's going to come encapsulated very reminiscent of perth mint so quality wise even not owning them but you know hearing from others the quality seems to be up there i know both new zealand and royal australian mint don't come near to perth i'm not saying perth are untouchable when it comes to quality but you know it, it's all announced to the individual please let me know your thoughts and opinions on that but what they have done here i really do like and think is very good um and that's going to be the mintage so on the silver one ounce we have a mintage of 10k you know and that's a very reputable mint right there so i think that's a fantastic play all the coins i'm showing here it, i would easily be, put, be putting my money here i think in today's world where we are in the in the collecting stacking world with you know coins from a strong mint at that kind of mintage i think they're your best play i think the only thing that's going to work against you is how long it takes you to flip them but if you're here right here right now and you want to be putting your money into anything this is where it's got to be on the strong mints with the right type of mintage and that's definitely going to be these here uh, an interesting thing here, unless i'm seeing things that somebody can point it out i think the silver has a different image to the gold so the silver has a mintage of 10k and here's the gold dragon so it most definitely is but i might have something wrong here so don't hold me to this but i do know they have a gold and the silver as the same dealer selling both coins but i I've only seen that from one dealer selling both. A lot of dealers have either have the silver and not the gold. But here's the gold. Once again, love what they've done with the mintage here. So they've gone for the infamous new um, standard of 100. You know, some may say too low, but I've seen mintage, coin mintages of 100 that are still sitting about. It comes in all this fancy packaging that you would expect. Not all mints are really pulling this off right here. The packaging doesn't look as, you know, up there as royal mint but definitely good so i think this is the coa we've got right here and this is for the gold so it's letting you know all the details here so it's a 100 mintage i think it's very nice uh, if they have gone for a different image on the gold over the silver it's very interesting as to why they've done that but i think that dra dragon there very nice um yeah, i know you could say all dragons look the same very perf very uh what's the mint we recently had so we got a few from the china mint and the likes i can't remember the top of my head but that is totally different than the gold but nevertheless it's going to be from the celestial animals series that's stamp coming out now so we're starting off with the green dragon here mintage of 10k and 100 i think this is a very good place to put your money or place a bet because that's what you're technically doing when you're rolling the dice on these collector coins and i think these stand higher chances you know just like the saint anne's revenge you know perth such a low mintage you really can't go wrong really so when you're looking at this i put it straight up there with that you really just can't go wrong and i'll jump back onto the gameplay here in a moment so getting on to the next coin is going to be this one here you know i'm a kook lover at heart but this is um the new offerings from perth mint so when i first saw these you know the juices start to flow and i thought oh, yes perth <laughs> gone and done it again you put kooks on both sides and it was like whoa i haven't seen this before you know I read all the razzy dazzle um press that came with it kooks on both sides and queen anne's head and all of this and then i you know reality kicked in and it was like look 
it is nice. I think the front side is good, but I think the back side, what they've done there, putting up a kook on both sides, best of my knowledge, first time on a coin. That should be a hit right there, smashing that round out the park. Run, go pick them up by the rolls of hundreds. But, you know, when reality kicks in, once you're comparing the old model, I would call it, to the new model, the one ounce here on the kooks has a mid of 300k. As I was just mentioning, when you're looking at the Green Dragon and even the Queens and Revenge, on 15 and 10k there's no comparison i mean these are collector coins that you're collecting right now the queen's Anne's revenge the time of releasing this still hasn't sold out you can pick them up in europe for pretty much what they came out for so I'm not saying that's a bad thing but that's just showing you where the market is and even if the market was to pick up what you think people are going to have more of if you're competing on ebay with somebody a coin that has a mixture of 300k you know business as usual not exactly brand new or a coin on a mintage of 10k or or 15k you know, straight away now, once reality kicks in for myself, if you're looking at the old mintage of 300k plus or anywhere over 50k, it's an immediate no for me. So I'm just going to be liking these on the sidelines. I think what they've done is fantastic. I think they're going to have a field day when it gets to the privy pimping. You'll have a kook on one side, a kook on the other side, and a preview of a kook on that side. But, you know, all jokes aside, it's, it's, it's very nice what they've done. But the whole... I think these coins are geared more towards their old collector base that they have. These guys that just pick them up to keep their collections going or for nostalgia. You know, they may not be like myself and want to pick these coins up and know that they can flip them sooner than later for a profit. That may not be the game for everybody. And I totally understand that. If you're doing that, then you're doing what they intended for them to do. You know, they want to print 10 million and have everybody get one and move on in business as usual. But for myself, the old model styles, it is, I'm turned off immediately just from the mintages. And it's a shame really, because I think if they brought this out even in a gold and put it on the new model, 25K even, which would be pushing it, they could they could work they could work a lot of, you know, they could really work that. And promise and pretty promise not to preview pimp them, something could be done. But outside of that, I think the design is nice. You know, not my most favorite. I think the, what they've done with a double coupe on both sides is very good, very smart. But I like it, but I will not be buying it purely down to the mintage. Next, we're gonna have the Lunar Rat. I've got the gold image here, but it's the platinum I'm originally showing. I think this was also a nice design. I'm showing the gold as mentioned. I think the silver also had a nice design, but same rules apply as well. I was just mentioning on the um, kook. It was interesting to see what they'll do mintage wise, but I knew they wouldn't change it. Perth would be stupid to change it. You know, in, in reality, they have their collector base for the old style model, you know, with the high mintages. Uh, I know these sell fantastically in Germany, they sell fantastic worldwide. So, whether uh, they're hot coins now for flipping, we, me, or whoever else thinks on the same thought. A small minority remember they're pushing these out in the thousands so people must be, still be lapping them up whether they want to be able to sell them for a profit is a different thing but for me that's playing key here otherwise i'll just stick to straight government bullion and so showing the platinum you would think as it has the lowest mintage you know you're comparing it to the silver the 300k and then on the one ounce and then the rest being unlimited mintage the Platinum having the smallest mintage of 5k, I still don't think there's big opportunities there because not to forget it's the same motif, it's the same design. You're still going to have the Gilded and all the other types of variants and not to forget Perth also do a lot of their other gold counterparts on the 5k mintage. I think it will help the Platinum market in general because there doesn't seem to be a big massive takeaway the Queen's Bees coins. You know, they're, they're, they can also, they've been doing work and wonders for the platinum market, but haven't been the best buy for UK buyers because we pay a higher premium just like on silver. But, you know, outside of the UK, they're a good buy. So I think this coin, including the Queen's Beast one ounce platinum coins that sell, will do good for the platinum collector coin market. So there could be some play then. Very easy on the pocket for heavy hitters. You know, it's only coming in the one ounce variant. But So me aiming at one ounce a year could be a play I may go for outside of that. But you know it's just it just is what it is i i won't be in for them if i was to follow the game plan from lunar series 2 as many followed from lunar series 1 the game plan would be you know a, a hundred of the half ounce lunar rats and silver and then you know pick up as many rolls of the two ounces that i could and that would be working off of the game plan that 
Last year, the half ounce 2008 were a good buy because they was picked up in limited quantities and also the two ounces, those were very, extremely profitable. But I don't think we're seeing that this year, but you could say we are. There's a low, low interest. And I believe there will be an opportunity like we saw with the monkeys and even other coins where you're going to have um, certain designs that come out on a low mintage purely because of low sentiment people lack of interest and just you know the mint making a boo-boo which coin will that be so there's an opportunity right now you know i'm here saying no 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 i do love the designs i'll always be a lunar fan but i won't be going in as aggressive as i once upon a time did purely because you know perth themselves make a now make a coin series that they have 15k silver why on earth would i be interested in the old series where they have 300k silver it's a no-brainer to me i want to be able to sell on and flip or take advantage of the opportunity immediately i don't want to have these coins sitting around for too long i'm not really interested in completing our whole set but you know we'll see how it goes as mentioned that uh, there will be opportunity that pops up and this could be it because there's extremely low sentiment right now the collector coin market is very stale and stagnant so let me know your thoughts and opinions, guys. I've gone on long enough. What do you think about the new Lunar offerings? Just touching upon the Koala, also one ounce and a 300k mintage, but I think the image is rather cute. You know, I'll leave it at that, but the Koalas have never been of interest to me, but I think this is a rather cute image. But, you know, let me know your thoughts and opinions. Are you going to be in for the Lunars? Will you be going on a game plan hoping that the half ounces, that the unlimited mintage coins do well? You know, a box or however many rolls that the half ounces and the two ounces, we know they're more manageable for individuals. When you get higher than that, it really is what it is. But let me know your game plan on the Lunar Coins and even the Perth Mint new offerings. What do you think about the Celestial Dragons from the New Zealand Mint who haven't really got a smash hit coin series out now? If they do, please do let me know. I don't know about them all. And the gold and the silver, I think they've done fantastic on their mintages. I'd definitely be putting my money there if I was heavily in right now. Let me know what you think about these giraffe coins. You know, whether you think they're a gimmick or the steer clear, or you're definitely going to be all over them. So hey, I love it guys. Please let me do you know what you think about this video and also don't forget to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll catch you guys in the rebound.